You know, the day, unfortunately, is like more of a blur to me. I don't remember working the fest at all. I don't remember any of it. I can tell you that I've been told that I worked from five until seven. Around seven o'clock, I went out to take a picture of a friend. And as I held up my phone, she said I started stumbling backwards and I fell to the ground. I jumped into action immediately because I knew there was no one else there. It's called sudden cardiac death is what it's called. Um, it's when the electrical system of the heart malfunctions. I immediately started CPR. And as I was doing CPR, Cheryl opened her eyes and took one big breath and we checked a pulse and she had a pulse. Most people don't survive when it happens. It's amazing, four days after the incident happened and I woke up in a hospital not knowing where I was. Um, my mom and dad were there. They told me everything that happened. And um, the first words out of my mouth were, do you know who she is? My relationship with Cheryl um, from now on will be, I have a friend for life. She's just, a, just the most wonderful, as I would say, selfless person. She gave of herself. And had she not, I wouldn't be able to be here today talking to you. Doris always gives 110% of herself, really. Like, she never comes to work and ever puts herself first or ever does less than her best for her patients. For somebody putting you there, what are my chances of having a cardiac nurse walk in my path within that small window to save my life and make me who I am today? So I am forever grateful. and You will always be my hero, always. Thank you. The message I wanna give everyone is if you have any skills of any sort, you should always try to help someone else because you just never know when that one time that you help someone can change that person's life and all of the people that they impact in their life, their family members, their friends, their coworkers. I mean, you just never know when it makes the world a difference.